Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Deleted Scenes from Sunday Sermon. Today's topic, a super abundant love. Listen to what the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 12. May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. The Apostle Paul's prayer at the end of 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 was for these believers to have an overflowing love. Now, in the original Greek language, this word overflow can be translated as superabundant. The apostle wanted these Thessalonian believers to have a superabundant love for those inside and outside of the church. At the height of the pandemic, I can remember that our washing machine broke down and we had to go to the store and buy a new one. And the salesman at the store told us that due to the pandemic, there was a limited supply of washing machines available for us. And we had to pick one because we needed a washing machine right away. But we could only pick from the select number of washing machines available to us in the store that day. However, in contrast to a world right now that is experiencing a crisis in supply and demand, we are called to have a super abundant love for everyone around us. But before we talk about the super abundant love we're supposed to have for those who are in the church and outside of the church, let's first talk about our super abundant love that we're supposed to have for God. The Bible tells us in Mark chapter 12, verse 30, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Just think about how super abundant our love for God must be if we're supposed to love him with all our heart, all our soul, all our minds and all of our strength. We're called to love God with everything that we are and everything that we have. Now, here's the thing. One of the principal ways for us to demonstrate our love for God is by loving the people who are around us. Look again at what the Apostle Paul says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 12. May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other. Jesus taught us that it's our love for one another in the church, that the world will know that we are his disciples. We are called to have a super abundant love for our brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. When you read the book of Acts, there's something amazing that happens. The Bible says that there was no one who was in need. That's how well the church loved each other, and took care of each other. In Galatians, the Bible says this, in Galatians 6.10, Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. We have a special calling from God to show a super abundant love for our brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. But our superabundant love for God isn't supposed to stop with just those people who are inside of the church. But look at what else the Apostle Paul says in this same passage in verse number 12. May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else. We are called to have an overflowing love for the people who are out in the world. 
Now, does that mean that we're supposed to love the sin in the people that are out in the world? No, we're not supposed to love the sin, but we are called to love the sinner. It's not enough, Jesus said, for us to love the people who love us. We're even called to love our enemies. That's super abundant love. And how is it possible for us to be able to demonstrate this kind of love? Well, Romans chapter 5, verse 8 teaches us how we can do that. The Bible says this, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You see, before we can be dispensers of this super abundant love, we have to be recipients of God's super abundant love for us that He demonstrated through His Son, Jesus Christ. We are called to show a super abundant love for God for fellow believers, and for the people in this world. Now, you might think, with so much love going around that we're called to share, that eventually we're going to run out of this supply of love. But we need not fear, because our supplier is Jesus Christ. And He has given us His eternal love. And we must remember that we love because He first loved us. Thank you for tuning in, and may God richly bless you. Hello everyone, thank you for sticking around for this special message today. It is very difficult to talk about the super abundant love that God has for us without us actually demonstrating that to somebody else. So I want you to take the challenge today to pick one person either inside the church or outside of the church that you can demonstrate a super abundant love towards. I want you to go above and beyond the call of duty. I want you to go above what maybe that person would have anticipated a follower of Jesus Christ to do. So that's the challenge. I hope you'll take me up. And if you do, let me know how it goes. God bless you all.